Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 14th of November 2024. Hope you are keeping well, enjoying yourself as best you can. My personal small enjoyment there, swimming. I'm back from and delighted to report that the swim, the water temperature of the swimming pool has gone up to a nice temperature again. Uh, it's been chilly for a couple of days. It seems to have come back up again. That's nice. So that's my personal pleasure. Uh, my personal dislike is uh, the fact that in the Netherlands, uh, the appeals court has ruled that Shell does not have to follow a ruling that was imposed by a lower court say, saying that it ought to cut it had to cut its uh, global carbon emissions by 45 percent by the end of 2030 that's compared with 2019 um, so if they haven't managed to get <laughs> any <laughs> if environment um, campaigners haven't managed to get success in the Dutch court there's not much chance of them getting success in the US courts when when the uh, federalists, uh, uh, federalist, um, uh, I've forgotten their name, <laughs> you know what I mean, federalist society uh, judges um, all vote in favor of big oil. Um, we know money speaks in America. Uh, yeah, so the planet's dying. Never mind, we'll play Sudoku. Like when Rome was burning, uh, <laughs> Nero fiddled or whatever it was, uh, we'll be playing Sudoku while the planet burns let's get on with the game of sudoku this is the los angeles times expert level puzzle i can see something already what i can see is the eight blocking down here that's going to put an eight blocking across here so that's going to put eights into those two squares so you know extending across like this i know there was a simpler way of showing that but <clears throat> that's how i showed it anyway so there <clears throat> we've got three blocking up here three down here Three across there that caught my attention. Uh, and this one blocking this square gives us one there. And in the bottom row, and we are deficient of a nine. So let's put one in. Seems we can get nine up, nine down, nine across, and across to the, from the from the right and from the left. And we'll get ourselves a nine there. Uh, there can't be many more nines to go. No, I think there's only one. I think this could be the last one. Fingers crossed. No, it was not. Where is another nine then? Ah, up at the top here. <coughs> there we go. That's got to be the last one. All right. Two and three block down here. That's going to put two and three into those squares and leave enough room for a small four. <laughs> four and eight block up here four and eight block across there we found ourselves a pair yippee-i-a that's four and eight in those squares what does it mean well it means threes are in those squares ones are like this one two three or five fives are like ah okay so we got five blocking we can do this anyway don't need that. We got five there. <coughs> uh, so again, uh, four and eight in those squares, and so we are left with one, three, six. One, three, six. They're all in different columns. Uh, but the threes are the ones that will give us something along there, something there. Hmm. Okay.
Uh, don't know if this is going to lead to anything, but 4 and 8 can't go in these squares, but we need 4 and 8 in this row, so that's got to be a 4 and an 8. Uh, and it didn't give us anything there, but maybe it will give us something here if we keep our fingers crossed. Though that won't help us. 5 and 6, yes it will, 6 blocking up there. Well, did you have your fingers crossed? I didn't, because I've got my hands on the mouse. And I find crossing your fingers while mousing is not very good. Five's block like this. <clears throat> so we've got two, three, seven left here. We got one up here, one down there. That will give us a one in that square. eight blocking these squares here and eight blocking this square so that's got to be an eight and of course two three seven also there so we had two three seven in those squares two three seven down here and uh, can't see anything helping us there though And uh, actually, two, three, seven in these squares as well. Ha uh ha. -huh. What does it mean? Um, I should. I. Uh, I can work out what goes here. No, I can't. Tell a lie. One, six. All right, let's go through and see if I can spot anything uh, useful. Nine is our only completed digit at this point in time. Okay, six blocking these two squares and six blocking this square. So in that row, there's a six. And I think we've got another pair down here. Five, six blocking down here. Five, six blocking across here. So we have got a pair of five and six here. Did I do that before? I can't even remember. I might have done. Uh, anyway, I've done it, redone it if I did it before. Anyway, we've got five and six in those squares. So this is one. Four seven, so four four across here will give us the four in that square. This is five and six, this is one and seven. Okay, I think we're looking for one, two, seven, eight. Let me just double check. One, two, seven, eight. One, two, seven, eight. Yeah, one, seven, and two there. So that's our eight. <coughs> Excuse me. Eight's going like this. We're going to finish the eight. So I can see a couple more to be had. Eight across here. Eight down here. I'm pretty sure that's the last. Yes, I was right this time.
there's just one number to go here that must be a four mustn't it Ah, three across here and across there gives me a three in that square. Seem to be quite a few similar patterns or I mean similar groups of numbers hmm five blocks these squares and five blocks this square so in this column here's our five we did actually work this out before didn't we we have five and six across there well, didn't we so that's the six there and last numbers here are one seven and I don't no, about up there though. Eight and nine are done. Everything else still on the table. Four across here, four up there. We've got a five here. Final digit five, actually. We've got one blocking those two squares and one blocking this square. So in this row, there's our digit one. Now one up here, one up here. There goes our one. Six up here puts six into this square and will leave us with a three just so three across here three up there puts three into that square we're missing two seven like this and like this
Okay, there's a 3 down there, point 0.3 in this square, 3 across here, 3 down there, there's a 3, and that's finished. Two blocks, both of these squares here, so there's our 2, that's going to help us enormously. Now we know that's a 7, and we also know that 7 blocks up there giving us the 7 in that square, and this is going to be our 2 and two across there and two up there gives us two in that square and we can finish the top row with a six also got six down here and six up there or you could just look for the empty square in this column same meat different gravy as my dad used to say missing digit here is seven seven across here and seven down here will give us 7 in that square and here we're looking for a 2 oops and here we're looking for a 4 and there we need a 4 and here we need another 2 2 across here 2 down there there goes our 2 and 1 is our last digit here 1 blocking down gives us 1 there this will be a 7 7 blocking up puts 7 into that square and the last number here is 4. What are we left with up here? Uh, we've got 1 blocking up there, there's our digit 1 and the last number here is 7. And we are not finished because there's a gap down here that must be um, inserted with a 2. Uh, that's the LA Times expert level puzzle for Thursday over and out. I'll see you another time in another Sudoku puzzle. Take care. Bye-bye.